What up, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over the Fitbit Versa 2. So this is a pretty nifty smartwatch that got updated pretty recently and it's fitness forward, but let's go ahead and see if it's right for you. First thing we need to do is get into the specifications. This is rocking a 1.4 inch AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass 3 and also has an always on display as well if you want to drain that battery life a little bit. Talking about battery life, it says it gets up to six plus days of battery life, but if you have good screen brightness and if you're turning on all the fitness metrics, we're talking about a little over four days with it. It does have five atmospheres of water resistance and they do recommend swimming with it if you need to do a little bit of swim tracking as well. It has NFC payments through Fitbit Pay, so if you need that built in. It is rocking Bluetooth 4.0, so that is not the highest updated version of Bluetooth, but it's pretty much all you really need. This does come with a microphone, so you can use that microphone to call up Alexa, but it does not have a speaker, so you will have to read it. But you can also use that to dictate text as well if you need a text response. It uses Fitbit's smart track technology, so it can track up to, I believe, 10 different activities like outdoor running, walking, ellipticals, biking, stuff like that, so that's built in the watch and it has pretty much 30 different sports modes. You can store over 300 tracks on the watch itself so that's built in. The band itself is interchangeable. It is different with each band. The smaller version is a 140 to 180 millimeter and the bigger version is a 180 to 220 millimeter. This band is coming in at 299 on the actual Fitbit website but if you use Amazon it'll be coming in at about 179. This band comes in a bunch of different colors. Black carbon, Bordeaux with copper, petal with copper, stone with mist, navy with a pink woven copper, and also a smoke woven mist gray. They do come in different price ranges for a couple different colors. It of course is rocking the Fitbit app, so you can use it on your Android devices and your iOS devices. And if you're looking for a review on the Fitbit app, check it out right up here. All right, let's go ahead and get into his fitness and sleep tracking. First things first, we're gonna go right into fitness, going into all the exercises. It gets a lot of sports activities for me, but this is when I'm coaching. But the first workout I did right here had me averaging at around 118 beats per minute with 165 beats per minute. Pretty accurate, up and down, it was a little bit of intervals with some resting in between. Now check out the whoop right up here, that's a very accurate heart rate. But what I did see is it was a little bit higher than my heart rate was in a general sense where it dipped a little bit lower tending. But again, you should use a more flexible band. These harder bands when you go through wrist flexion can lose the heart rate by a little bit. That's going into my workouts from today. Same type of thing, my heart rate did not get up to 196. I, I think my heart might be coming out of my chest with something like that. So it did spike a little bit, but overall in general, it worked pretty well with my heart rate, even with a little bit of dips too. So overall, a good experience. And then when I got in for my run, that also very accurate. It gives you a map of your run and the actual run was very accurate. Wanna see where your heart rate zones were during your workout and where your paces were during that workout as well and it kept me pretty accurate I do see over here it did go a little bit away so it wasn't the most accurate but it gave me a great distance score and the heart rate also was pretty much on point it did drop by a little bit more it says it got down to like around 120 there uh, that might be a little bit too low but overall pretty good heart rate monitor and a pretty good activity tracker. Now let's get into those sleep scores. Sadly, I did forget to update this band with my SpO2 sensing, but even without it, it was very accurate. So my sleep scores from the last two days on Monday, said I got four hours and four minutes of that, no light and deep sleep. This was before that update, so it wasn't able to get the most accurate tracking, but it did get my awake time pretty much on point. I am a new dad, baby wakes up, I wake up, this is what happens. When I get into my today's, it did work through my deep, my light, and my REM as well. But again, it wasn't the most accurate with my deep and my REM. I was there a little bit more. Again, my whoops right over here to check that out. But it goes, gives a good estimated oxygen variation, which is great. 
going into stuff like that, you can get into your health metrics. So this gives you an idea of where your breathing rate is. It gives you an idea of where your heart rate variability is. This is great for recovery, giving your best effort, the higher that heart rate variability, typically the better you could do in your workout, but that is all really just a personal lump number. No skin temperature. Uh, the oxygen saturation does need another day to get in. That's even here on the band itself. I'll get into that in a second. You also have your resting heart rate here. If you do want to go premium, you can get more than seven days. So you can get seven days to kind of see where your trends are going. Sadly, they do put this behind a paywall. If you, if you want to get a 30 day trend, you do actually have to pay for premium. And again, I went over that in my app review. All right, let's get into the user interface of this. It does have an actual button here that is programmable through its newest update. We'll get into that in a second. And on the back, you have your heart rate, you have your charging, and you even have your removable bands right back there as well. The charger itself is a clip on charger, so you kind of have to cradle it right in here. It works pretty well. It lets you know when it's charging, so that's not too bad, but I definitely would have preferred a magnetic charger. But this is one of its newest watch faces. You can go through it. This is your active minutes, how many steps you got in as far as elevation is concerned, your SpO2 level if you had it sleeping last night, and you even have your heart rate. Of course, that actually has to be on your wrist to check heart rate. And uh, you have your steps here as well. It's a great watch face. Now going in, you can swipe down. That gives you all your notifications. You can go ahead and clear there. But if you swipe twice, this will give you a little thing where your media player is, also Fitbit Pay, and settings. These are quick settings to put do not disturb on, night sleep on. You can turn your always on display on, your brightness levels, and your screen wake right here to let you know if it's motion or button. When you hit this side button, this does go back and back again. When you swipe to your right, this gives you all of your apps that you can download on the app, your wild, your maps, your stuff like that, your calculator, and you even have your Alexa right here built in as well. Talking about exercise, you can go into that, run, bike, swim, treadmill, everything built in. You can go right into more as well. This is where you can add in golfs, climbing, yoga, boot camp, and you only be able to store seven on the actual first screen and you could change that through the app. There is a new thing with alarms and there are smart alarms. So this will be a smart wake that'll give you an idea about 30 minutes anywhere from when you're about to wake up. So if you do want something to wake you up in that good period so you don't wake up so groggy, you can turn that on. That's not something I do, but it is an option. And when you swipe on up, you can get into your today's view about how many steps. This is pretty much everything where you're heart rate is, where your sleep was, and your activities. You can even add in more things like water, food, sleep, and stuff like that. Going into settings, so this is all the settings for the band itself. You could check your brightness, going to max, screen timeout if you want that on a little bit longer, always on, sleep display, do not disturb stuff like that, changing your vibration, changing your microphone, you can change this left button. So you can make it, if you hold on, it can be Alexa, pay, or a specific exercise that's very good, music controls. You have a lot of options here, which is awesome. You can go into Alexa and set that up, and you can also manage your Bluetooth, active zone minutes, all that built right in, even your about. One of my overall recommendations with the Versa 2, it is a very good band with good, pretty accurate heart rate tracking with your workouts and really good sleep tracking. Again, if you're turning on all the health stuff and you are doing multiple workouts in your week, you might only see about four days. And if you wanna do that always on display, you'll pr probably see that drop to a little over three. I didn't really do that testing, but that's probably about where it's at. So at $180, it's got a great screen and it can be used for all notifications like a smartwatch and it's great for fitness tracking as well. If you do wanna get a little bit cheaper, the Charge 4 is great as well if you wanna check that out. Link is right up here, but it's not gonna give you a great screen and the Charge 5 is gonna be coming out within the next four or five months. So definitely make sure to stay tuned for that. 
Really, I can't see too many negatives with this band. Yes, a speaker would be great to be able to take calls on it or be able to hear Alexa. That would be a good addition, but it pretty much has everything you might need to get built into your watch itself, especially if you're looking for something a little bit newer. And Fitbit, with its merger with Google, you know they are gonna be putting more money into these wearables and letting them get a little bit better throughout the entire ecosystem. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button if you did, and if if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys will know when the next video comes out as soon as it does. And if you're gonna be using my links down in the description below, that's gonna shoot you right to Amazon. And if you use it, it'll shoot you right to Amazon and a little bit of that purchase will help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.